everybody's pretty much got dreams. Some people allow themselves to be blocked just within ourselves, you know, doubting yourself. There was a tornado and my house was like, majority of my house was on the ground and the rest, there was so much damage. We lost everything, all of our furniture, all of our memories. It just went with the storm. That's when everything started literally crumbling. At that time, I had six kids. Not too sure after that, Child Protective Services started coming in. I got to the point where they were trying to take my kids out of the house. And you have your babies that are sitting there looking at you for the answers, and you don't have them. My neighborhood changed a lot after the storm, so they brought in a lot of people from out of town. And of course, they brought in the gangs and everything. My next door neighbor had about two or three drive-bys within a month's time. I woke up one time and there was a guy in my house trying to pull my daughter out of the house because it was like 10 girls in the yard trying to jump her. I was like, okay, I can't deal with this. We came to Denver with the understanding that we were going to be able to live with a friend of mine until we got on our feet. And well, we were given about two weeks before we got kicked out. So we were pretty much on our own from that point. And that's how we winded up in a shelter for about four or five months. I don't know how to fix it. I don't know what's going on. I don't know where we're gonna be at tomorrow. So I can remember it was Christmas day and I got a knock at the door. My son was telling me about the elves outside. There are no elves outside, but he was completely adamant with the fact that there were elves outside. You no know, parents here are facing so many challenges these days, homelessness or a lack of opportunities. The Denver Dream Center says kids bear the brunt of that, and that's why they wanted to start presence in the projects. I got a number that was written on the back of some wrapping paper. At the time, I wasn't even wanting to go downstairs. The day after Christmas is when I found out that we were going to be forced to move again. Didn't know where we were going. At that time, I felt like I was in the darkest place that I could possibly be in. I think through my tears, I looked over and I found, I saw the wrapping paper. And on the wrapping paper was a phone number. So at that point, that's where I met Pastor B and the Dream Center. The Dream Center helped me with housing. They helped me with clothes. They stayed strong and made sure that I knew that they were there, made sure that I had love in my life. This is one of the most exciting times for me because I'm actually getting to live out the dreams that I've had all this time. <laughs> I'm only one family that has been impacted by the Dream Center and what they do in people's lives. There are many families. The programs available through the Dream Center, 
I love them. I definitely go to the Adopt a Block events. If you could see the family's faces and the children's faces, just from you like painting their nails, just from you helping them pick out clothing or giving them bags of food, you know, and for some people, that's all that they have. Just being able to give back and put smiles on people's faces. I think that's one of the most wonderful feelings ever. The Dream Center definitely remains active, definitely stays consistent with helping people. I don't think that there is enough thank yous in the world, like, but they held me. They held me together and they didn't give up. 